Hello Libra, welcome to another morning inspo. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. Okay Libra, so let's get right into it. I already have your affirmation for today. Let me get this sage going. And your affirmation for today is, I make the time to experience joy. I make the time to experience joy. The questions are, what activities make me feel joyful? How am I incorporating some of these into my daily life? Okay. I make the time to experience joy. Today, I'm be going into the Starseed Oracle deck. The good old Starseed oracle see what's going on with my lovely libras okay what messages do we have for libra what messages do we have for libra <clears throat> what is libra feeling what is libra feeling What is Libra feeling? Seas of Mataka. Seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. Having a crystal understanding on what it is you came here to do. Lost land, soul memories. You've done this before. Some of you guys could be going back into that past life energy. Um, you can be... You, you can understand that something is drawing to you, to, drawing you to a certain type of energy or a certain, type, a certain place, person, thing in your life because you've been there before. There's some things that you've already done in your past life, okay? Something is also telling you to wait, like it's not time yet. Things are still being woven for you, so you may not have the full clear picture of what it is, but you just know you're being called to something, someone from a higher power. And I feel like you're being obedient in that way. And in that obedience, you're being obedient when it's telling you, wait. Right now, you can be getting a lot of downloads while you're waiting. So your dreams could be crazy, okay? You can definitely feel a little little um, crown, crown opening, okay? Definitely could feel like, I can't even explain what it is that you feel, but it's like forces. It's almost like your crown opening. But definitely getting a lot of visions and things like that. A lot of things happen when we do wait. So I do feel like you're looking at this whole galaxy. You're looking at life in a total new light, okay? Because there's some things that you haven't seen before or some things you didn't know why. You just thought it was coincidence and you're realizing that it wasn't a coincidence and pretty much nothing is a coincidence. And you're, you're definitely going into a place where you know you've been here before. Also, some of you guys could be looking back in your lineage, trying to see things where, where things can add up. Who knows? Were there any other people who were intuitive? I feel like that could be it. Or it could be um, musically inclined. Like there's something with the music as well. Yep. You have the void. This is the great void. Void. It says, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. The great, great womb. Some of you guys are getting impregnated with a lot of things right now. And this has a lot to do with past life. This has a lot to do with um, things that you've already done. You've, you've been here already doing this. Okay. <clears throat> what does Libra need to release? Trust where you're being led. Activated earth. You got the power of places. All paths need home. So release trust. Like let trust um, 
bring trust back into you that the universe is being led. I feel like I just said this, what I'm about to say, but I feel like with, with this activated um, earth, you have power places, ley lines, trust where you're being led. You're being called to certain types of places. You may be called to get up and go somewhere, even called to take a different route, called to sit in a different place, called to go to another store. Things the universe is, is, talk, is talking to you. You something has been activated in you where you can actually communicate with the universe on a deeper level. So listen to it when it tells you to go certain places. But I think you guys are totally obedient because the universe said wait and Libra was like, I'm feeling like all these things are happening, but wait. And why? It was because of the great void, because I'm getting all these downloads. So I do feel like that you're connecting on a different level. Um I do feel like there's a need for you to isolate yourself from others, especially because this is a highly sensitive time, time for my highly sensitive people, okay? So th this is like a time for you to definitely isolate yourself from other people and turn your turn your gaze within. Also, this is a trust that wherever you're being led on your path, trust the path, trust the path. There are certain people that you're coming in contact with for a reason. And this is a time for you to trust that. Trust what the universe is doing. Look, you have the child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. It lies within you. So turn your gaze within and things are bringing you to certain people and places. I don't know why I'm excited for you. I'm like, well, where's Libra going? <laughs> Who's Libra talking to? <laughs> I want to know. You are about to be informed with a lot of hidden, a lot of hidden secrets, a lot of things. And a lot of it is inside of you. You've been here before. The reason why you have to go here is because you've been here before. And these things, these memories lie deep, deep within. It's the reason why you like this thing. It's the reason why you have a phobia of that. It's the reason why you love. It's, it's, it's a deeper meaning to it. There's a deeper meaning to what's going on. Tell me more about what does Libra need to bring more I mean, the next question is, what does Libra need to welcome more of into their lives? What does Libra need to welcome more of into their lives? What does Libra need to welcome more of into their lives? Open yourself up. Let yourself be seen. Like all of your unique talents, whatever it is. Like I said, it may be your talents, what you like, what you like to do. That's bringing you to a certain thing. And until you get there, that's when you'll remember like, this feels like deja vu. I think I've been here before. You have, just not in that body. Also a deeper perspective. <clears throat> Zoom out of something. Stop paying so much attention to the details. Okay? Call in support from your soul team, your soul angels. Call in support from them and also say yes. Jump into something. So something's going to give you some type of energy to jump in, but let yourself be seen. Don't miss opportunities because you're hiding yourself or you're dimming your light or you're not putting, you're not going for all of your, 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 um, talents. You're not putting any energy behind that. Also get out of, you know, the insecurities and things like that. Like zoom out of all of that. Stop paying so much attention to the details. Stop paying so much attention to the outside validation and just jump into what it is. Let yourself be seen. Okay. Yeah. Let yourself be seen. Stop hiding yourself. Like do it. You're made to be seen. You're made to be admired. 
Call and support so you can do what it is that you want to do. You have my life. Your, your life is like a canvas. Art manifestation, creative accountability. Like it's start it's time for you to start creating. And it's time for you to get so I feel like get so zoned out with the outside world. That's so why I say you're you're definitely gonna start isolating yourself because a lot's going on. And dive into your creatives, your 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 creativity. There's a certain there's a a particular way that the universe is talking to you, and whatever way it's talking to you, whether it's talking to you to to draw every day, every day I need you to draw. Okay, and you're just like, I don't know, I'm just being called to draw. I'm just being called to, like, I'm drawing these, I've never, they, I've never drawn like this, but it just feels so natural. And you may have been an artist, okay, and it's bringing you back to some type of, some information. It's bringing you back to something that's going to help you here, something that you were supposed to find here. You buried something back, some type of past life that you were supposed to find here, and a lot of you guys could be getting that through create, creation. So whatever it is, something's going to be nudging you to create something, create it. Something's going to be nudging you to do something, do it. Okay? This time for you, This it's going to like, listen to your nudges. Definitely. What is the major blockage? I feel like I could answer that one for you. The major blockage would be, is to not trusting. Not trusting your hunches. Also, a major block with the, what would be is to not even know that voice. To be so filled with chatter, that's lack of meditation, lack of silent time, lack of rest. To be filled with so much chatter that you don't even know that inner voice when you hear it. So you just confuse it as chatter. And you're like, oh, that's a stupid idea. Instead of this is the universe talking. No, I'm getting this feeling for a reason. It's a difference. It's a difference. What is the major blockage for Libra? What is the major blockage? What is the major blockage? Oh, you're not filled up with so much chatter. You spread yourself so thin to other people. You spread yourself so thin to other people. You gave so much people access to yourself. You could have also created a codependent relationship. And that's going to be a major blockage in trying to unlock this. Unlock this, this infinite intelligence within you. Where you can unlock the life that you truly desire. What's going to stop you from that life is the lack of boundaries. And why this is, is because you have Hadarian energy inside of you. Now, we all know the stories of the Hadarians. If you don't, I'm going to say the Hadarians are angels that were sent here to bring love on the earth, to bring more love. There's a lot of crazy things happening. And God created these uh, angels to come down here to spread for love so the Hedarians they could come down and they could see a person that's wicked but you know everybody has good bad you know light dark in them but they will only see the light inside of people and they would do this hoping that other people will see the light inside of these others so now you have this Hedarian energy inside of you which you see the light inside of other people which is good that's great that you see the light that you're able to see the light inside of people that you're not always able to demonize and and villainize everybody around you you realize that everybody has different um dimensions to them so that's beautiful you've been able to see that the thing is about that is you've been a you you have not been able to create a boundary because of this because you only see the light it's like oh it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay you also created um some of you guys could have created some type of codependent relationships where you have these people, not you being codependent on, on, on them, but then again, in a sense, but then you have these people who need you to put this light into them. So then you create some type of parasite and host type of relationship where a person needs that energy and then you're the energy and then you're left feeling depleted. And then 
in a sick, twisted way, you kind of become codependent on them where it almost feels like you need someone to fix. So then we have this, I'm sorry for being so blind, but hey. So then we have this energy that's like, it's all twi twist and it's all twist and intertwined with each other. You have this person's holding on you, and then you're holding on a person. Okay, um, I feel like there's a need for you to look a little deeper into these relationships that you create with people. And you just might find some answers there as well. Um, answers about yourself, answers about why, answers about how. How to heal this. How to create some boundaries. It's almost like you started seeing the light within other people, but you didn't see the light within you. So it's like you hold on to these situations and relationships because they need you. And it makes you feel like you have some type of light within you because you've been seeing it in everyone else but yourself. You've been doing for everyone else for their light and them taking that in return has left you depleted. So it's, it's like you're not seeing that light inside of yourself. So then it becomes now the host needs the parasite. Because at least the, the host feels like, well, at least the parasite is letting me know that I have something that somebody wants inside of me. I, I just feel like there could be some type of, there's a relationship that's hella toxic here. And for some of you guys, this is not going to resonate. But some of you guys, this is going to be on the money, okay? There's a relationship. I don't know if this is a family relationship. Maybe this is a work relationship. But there's some type of relationship that has not been treating you good. And because you've just been depleted with keeping up the standards or saving face or, or, or doing the right thing or whatever it is, You've been misled. And for some of you guys, this relationship is close to you. This is a relationship that you, that, 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 this is a person that you see or speak to every single day. And you're realizing that there's something there. There's something there that you need to take a look at. Because they're in that relationship, that can be a major blockage. This relationship. It's stopping you from being the true leader that you are. You have forged, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. So that even lets me know that you there is some type of disappointment. It's like be the love you wish you had. Be the friend you wish you had. Be the partner you wish you had. You're not getting your needs met. But at the same time, you're holding on to this relationship out of fear of being alone. And spirit may be guiding you to break from certain relationships. and may be guiding you to create boundaries in certain relationships. And until you see something for what it is. Because I'm feeling like for some of you guys, it may be too close to home. To even turn and look at. To even think about it. Some of you guys may feel horrible once you start thinking about, I need to cut this person away. I need to get away from this person. That's how codependent you've made it. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Who or what is helping Libra? 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 Your inner child. Your inner child, the tenderness, trusting the timing, trust the wave you came in on, time is not running out, don't try to rush, rush. Also, share your song and also paying attention to certain relationships, deep diving in certain relationships, also deep diving in certain types of creativities and talents that, that clear, decisive focus on certain things definitely is going to be helping you and also speak share your voice allow yourself to be seen and it's training it's training time that is training 
it's time to step up into where you're being called. Stepping up to where you're being called is definitely going to help you. But that inner child, I feel like your inner child could be talking to you, telling you to go certain places, telling you to eat certain things, telling you to do certain things. Listen to your inner child. See, your inner child's time to shine right now. At the top of the deck, you do have the... Um, Birth and Creations, the Seven Star Sisters, okay? And this is about, this is Birth and Creation. So remember when we started, it was like you're getting impregnated with it. It's, I feel like it's going to be like quick. That's why you need to take some type of rest, okay? Tell me more. Um, who is, who or what is hurting Libra? 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 Lack of healing, blocking off some type of healing. Deep cellular healing. Or this is this could be what's coming up. This could be what's coming up. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going through some type of deep cellular healing that you may even feel like some residue happening. Yeah, absorbing what's not yours. So you're going through some type of deep cellular healing. And this is when we like go to sleep and things like that. Just unconsciously, we're shedding and we're healing. And you may deal with things or you may be getting the residue of that like you may feel certain energies that come from the past type energy and it's this zoom out of this this doesn't even matter i'm clearing the smoke from you don't get caught up in the smoke please don't get caught up in the smoke don't absorb what's not yours what's i feel like this is absorbing what is no longer yours but even don't even make the identity with it that that used to be mine. It's just, that's not mine. That's how no, that's not mine anymore. We don't do things like that anymore. <laughs> we don't think like that anymore. Okay? It's just like you like no, that those aren't my thoughts. It's like reassuring yourself. Like I said, I feel a need to drill some affirmations. You may need to be, you know, reassuring yourself when these things happen. But I feel like you're going through some type of healing that you may be getting the back end of it. And it may be transpiring to old memories. It may even come in contact with, this healing may be so intense that it may even come in contact with people. You may be getting in different situations that back then the old you would have handled a certain type of way. And this is coming back in your face so you can say, that's not mine anymore. No, no. So you can say no to it and be done with it, okay? All right. And last but not least, what are the next steps for Libra? 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 feel like that has a lot to do with some type of past life spontaneous awakening it's like now you're, you're getting to right some type of wrong something that you couldn't do in some type of past life now you're able to do right now now you're able to uproof it's like you're not so defensive anymore you see what needs to make you, you you've seen what what you needed to do differently and now you're able to do that you've seen what needs what parts of you needs healing you've seen where you need to forgive and now now you're willing to do that now you're willing to expose that you have been activated for some of you guys there's some type of karmic relationship or there was some type of relationship that you needed to get rid of and for some of you guys it's a very codependent relationship okay But this is forgiveness. I feel like this is, you're, you're not blaming yourself anymore for something. Blaming yourself for letting something pass you by. You're just 
It is what it is. And now you're ready to grow even stronger. It's like you're forgiving, you're forgiving yourself. Yesterday's um one of Inspo was saying, look in the book. So I looked in my Ayala book and it was all about how your angels beg for you. This is how your angels beg for you. Once you do things, once you um, miss out on opportunities or you say things that go against yourself and against your journey. So they, 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 they beg God, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So it's like your your um angels and your spirit guides beg God for that. But how many times do you beg God? How many times do you ask Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And the the, the exercise that um, Ayala had in the book, which I think is really, really good. I can close this video out with that. It was write down, Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. 109 times. Write that down. And I wrote it down uh, yesterday. And it was just so, it's just as I kept writing it, I just, you know, it keeps saying, you keep saying, it keep going through your head and, it was just a great place because it's like all, all the things that I did not know, all the things that I did not, I thought that I knew and all the times that I did not go, um, I thought my will was better or I thought that I knew or, or I put things in my own hands. It's just like me getting down there with my angels and like, yes, please forgive me instead of me being oblivious to all the work that's being done beyond the eye. So that was, I thought that was beautiful for me. So you guys can try that. If you try that, let me know how it is. Let me know how it felt. Um, so that's the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading really, really resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.